Test drive the vehicle to ensure the brake system is operating properly and has no leaks. Check to ensure the brake fluid is at proper operating level. Protective eye and hand gear is strongly recommended. Select the correct adapter and connect to the vehicle's master cylinder reservoir. Turning the knob on the adapter will expand the O-ring, creating a tight seal. Sometimes using pliers and turning in an extra quarter turn is required to create a proper seal. Fill the new brake fluid tank on the back of the machine. Connect the machine battery cables properly to the vehicle's battery. Turn on the main pump switch and adjust the regulator to 12 to 13 PSI for most vehicles. Connect the yellow supply hose to the master cylinder adapter and open the ball valve at this time. Raise the vehicle up and in the recommended OE sequence, connect the catch bottle and open the bleeder valve. Close the valve when the clean fluid is coming through. You will be able to see the color change from dark old fluid to new clear fluid in the clear length of hose on the catch bottle. After closing the bleeder valve, disconnect the catch bottle. Repeat this process for the remaining three wheels. Once you have successfully completed the brake fluid exchange in all four wheels, turn the regulator to zero and shut off the main power switch. Close the ball valve and disconnect the yellow service holes. Disconnect the master cylinder adapter and make any necessary adjustments to reach the proper fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir. Reinstall the original cap. Now, pump the brake three to four times to ensure firmness before putting the vehicle into gear. Also, check for any leaks. Disconnect the battery cables from the vehicle and remove all miscellaneous tools from the engine compartment. Connect the machine battery cables properly to the vehicle's battery. Remove the new tank cap and the screen filter. Using the looped wire, gently hook the floater valve and keep it in the up position. Turn on the main pump switch and increase the pressure regulator to 10. Attach the included yellow open-ended adapter to the service hose and insert into a proper waste receptacle. Open the ball valve to drain the new fluid tank. Replace the screen filter and cap. Turn the regulator to zero and shut off the main power switch. Disconnect the battery cables from the vehicle and remove all miscellaneous tools from the engine compartment. 